How's it going here, future voters of Sean Gannon, future president of the United States of America, and we got another beer review. We have the Maduro Brown Ale by Cigar City Brewing, right there. All right, let me pour it, we'll talk about it, let's in the line. Now, if you notice, this is a plastic glass, you can't even tell. I'll put a link in the description below. I love these things. All right. Now. Mmm. It's a little foamy, so let's give it a moment here. Let's go read what's on the website. Not that. I don't want that in there. All right. They have a little fun fact about the Maduro Brown Ale. It's available year-round. Among the darkest colored and most complex cigars made in Tampa's Yarbor City is the Maduro, made with an overripe wrapper and, ex and exhibiting chocolatey and earthy flavors. We draw inspiration from this, from these sophisticated cigar cigars, and from Tampa cigar making history with Maduro Brown Ale, a Northern English brown ale brewed with flaked oats, full of full in body and silky on the palate. Maduro Brown Ale's chocolate and espresso notes are rounded out by toffee-like qualities and a light woody hot presence. Enjoy Maduro Brown Ale with chicharrones, ropa vieja, or a fine hand-rolled cigar. All right, ABV, 5.5%, SRM, 32, IBUs, 25, and OG, 14. Tasting notes. Aromas re reminiscent of toffee and chocolate macaroons, belial the low alcohol content and moderate body of its well-rounded English-style brown ale. Semi-sweet chocolate, almond, and brown sugar flavors fill the palate, uh, but quickly dissipate into a dry, clean finish with notes of coffee. Rounds. All right, I think that's everything they have on here. So, this beer, what does it look like? Well, it's a nice, let me make sure you can see that here. Nice brown, toasty color. You see right there. All right, am I going to get those tasty notes of chocolate macaroons uh, and a little almond, right? Hmm, oh, I'm getting that sweet chocolate. Yeah, I can see. Smell the sweet, sweet, sweet chocolate. Okay. I'm not really getting the almond, but we'll see. Ooh. That cho dark, that chocolate, I don't want to say it's like a dark chocolate, but then the coffee is like the after. It's not the initial flavor. So the initial flavor... Okay, as I'm drinking it more, the initial flavor is a little coffee uh, taste you're getting, and then it comes on stronger after like a second or two. Mmm. Mmm. It's pretty good brown ale. Um, I like that it's a 5.5% pretty light. Clean finish. Yeah, I would say there's a clean finish here. There's not a lingering... I mean, there's some lingering aftertaste, but it's not like this overbearing one. Like sometimes with these beers, I get a initial good flavor, and then it kind of changes and turns to an off flavor, and that flavor um, lingers longer and longer. It kind of gets worse and worse. So with this, it doesn't really do that. Like you have some lingering flavor, but it's a nice coffee flavor. Mm. Brown sugar. I don't know if I'm really getting that as much. Um, it, yeah, some brown sugar, but not really much at all. But just a little there. But anyway, it's nice. It's dry. It's a clean finish. I agree with that. Um, it's a nice dry coffee flavor. <laughs> dry and sweet chocolate. That's like the main three things I would describe it. So if you like brown nails, you can't go wrong. Um, basically, Cigar City has a lot of great... A lot of great beers. Uh, I like a lot of them. So you really can't go wrong with any of their beers. If you like one of their styles and they have it, you probably will like that beer. So anyway, I'm going to give this a final rating. Brown Owls aren't normally my favorite, but I'll give a rating of a 3.25 out of 5. Uh, but I think that's pretty good, to be honest, for a brown ale. So 3.25 out of 5. You know, Brown Owls aren't my favorite necessarily. I like this one. Uh, so I should say something now. Anyway, I'll see you next time. This is Sean Gannon here, signing off.